Hey guys, welcome back to story time again to Griffin with you here. Gonna talk to you for a little while on what is a beautiful day, and I hope it's a beautiful day for you. And if it isn't, look around because I guarantee you can find something beautiful in every day as long as you just concentrate on it, look for it, find it, and then focus on it. That's a fact, you can do that. Sometimes, hey, and some days we need to do that, don't we? Anyway, here's the base as it is now. Um, I will admit, Fluster has been doing a little bit of work behind our backs. Um, there was a lot of grinding for research because as he was searching over this planet, he realized that it was kind of barren. There was a lot less researchable artifacts here than uh, normal. So instead of spending, oh, what probably would have been six or seven episodes, just going back and forth and uh, traversing the planet, finding places to get artifacts, uh, just went and did some. There's a couple little advancements here. We got uh, new storage containers. We can put more stuff in, and of course we've got uh, more elements now and and uh, materials because we've collected those as we've been uh, going around. But basically, uh, nothing new, big time new, has happened. Um, other than that, I'm going to show you. Uh, we're not quite done researching yet, so you'll get to see what uh, what Fluster's been doing lately. And, unfortunately, Fluster came to the conclusion that since there was so little research material on the surface, he was going to have to go underground because as distasteful as being in the caves are, uh, that is where generally most of the research is found. So, uh, we found a cave and it's not very far from here. What, another storm? Or is it just... Nope, just getting nighttime. All right. We have an empty little thing over here, too, by the way, to show you. Uh, as soon as I get there. Got to dodge the rock. Gotta dodge the big rocks. You got to serpentine. 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 Dodge the big rocks. Here's another uh, one of those uh, storage units. And it ha it's filled with energy. And what we do with that is that we can connect these tethers to the uh, the rover here and we can put those that energy on there and that'll power me uh while i'm connected to the tether down here in the cave so here we go guys um we thought that um at least tumble oh, tumble i said tumble um <laughs> fluster thought that if we're gonna go down in a cave and we're gonna do a lot of research then by God, we're gonna have some tethers down here and we're gonna make it just, we're gonna make it safe. Make it safe for us to go down here. And as you can clearly see, Fluster has been doing a lot of work down here. Uh, I mean, this this goes on for quite a ways actually. We, uh, we're not even halfway through. So yeah, Fluster has been doing a lot of work down here, digging up research, getting minerals that we need, I believe, wait, it may be over, yeah, it's over that way. That's the direction he wants to go next, if it's even necessary, we'll see. Because we are still doing research. The little bridge that, uh, that Fluster made, and there! He dug this up a little earlier, uh, because you can find a lot of, a lot of, um, artifacts under and on the plants around here. So that's why you see all these plants with, uh, Little holes under them. That's where he was digging up uh, places to actually find some research. And there, nothing under some of them, but some of them there's a lot under. And there's also this direction over here. We're gonna go and so yeah, let's go back here and grab this artifact. That's the extent that he's gone into this tunnel so far. So if that gives you an idea of all the work he's been doing. While we haven't been watching, well, there you go. But, um, you haven't missed anything really important. Honestly, it's just been like, probably about, I'd say 12 to 16 hours of grinding. Just grinding for research. So here we're gonna bring this back. 
And after we do that, we're going to continue the search for... Uh, aluminum is something we need big time. Um, and that's something that we're going to kind of focus on because compound is easy to find, resin is easy to find. We need those, but they're easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on getting aluminum. I have loads of copper. Um, that and research. So, while we're doing this, you know, I don't actually have... Today, I, I don't really... I'm not going to tell you a story today. It's not really a story. Um, what did it end? I'm not going to really call it a, a complaint either. Uh, I guess the best thing I can call it is advice. Uh, I'm going to give some advice for those of you out there who like to talk to people or who want to get a hold of me or want to get a hold of other people that you consider to be, say, famous or popular or pop you fur or whatever you want to call it these days. I don't know what your damn kids are calling it anymore. So, because there are a few things that the people do uh, that I think they're not aware is kind of off-putting. And what got me going on this was watching uh, uh, Featherhoof recently did a a story, to, uh, a, a game side chat on pet peeves. And I started thinking about my pet peeves, which I have half a million of them. But uh, there was a couple of them that bothered me more than others. And you see, th there is a part of my, of what I do performing live and uh, doing YouTube videos and things that I don't like. And the biggest thing that I don't like is the fact that I can't talk to everyone who wants to talk to me. I don't like that. That bothers me. Every time I get done with a live show, wherever I'm performing, people come up to the front of the stage they pile up there, and they all want to shake my hand, and they all want to say something to me, and God knows, this is maybe the only time they believe they're ever going to get to talk to me in person, and they want to tell me something. There's something they want to express. There's something that they feel that they really want me to know. And I, I want to talk with them. I want to talk with all 150 or 200 of them, but I can't. And that, that bothers me. That's why I make shows like Storytime, like the beer cast, which by the way is coming back. Don't think it's not. It's just on hiatus right now. The beer cast will return live. Let's see what we got here. If this is another stupid compound, I'm... God damn it! Ugh. Sometimes you get some valuable research. Sometimes you get a compound. Oh well. It's not like we won't use it. So it really... And I, I'm not even exaggerating. At, at times, it really... It breaks my heart that I can't talk to everybody who wants to talk to me. Because I know what it's like to... You know, desperately want to talk to somebody, to express your ideas, to, to make friends with them, and not be able to simply because uh, they're just not accessible. And... I never in my life thought that I would become a person who, you know, wasn't accessible to a lot of people. I didn't think that there'd be a lot of people who would even want that. I mean, it just, that kind of thing pops up on you without expectation. You, you, you can't expect that kind of thing. It just happens and then you're like, whoa, what the hell? What, what, why am I in this position suddenly of having to you know, so many people that want to talk to me and I don't have time to talk to them all. Let's just power this back up, shall we? Okay, there we go. We're going back down here. We're going back in, guys. Fluster the Brave. Fluster the Magnificent. Fluster the Sliding. Fluster the, the Cave Surfer. Yeah! 
Okay. But, uh, so anyway. One of the ways, I guess, that I, I think sort of makes up for it is the fact that I do talk to people online. And it's not the same as talking to people in person, but a lot of people message me, they, they DM me on Twitter. Uh, I try to answer all of them, or uh, they com with comments on the videos. I read all of them, but I, uh, there's not many much way I can answer all of them. I wish I could. But either way, there are some things that some people do when they want to talk to me that are immediately off-putting to me. And they... The reason I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this up is because I'm probably not the only quote-unquote popular person that a lot of people want to talk to. And when you're talking to a popular person, I can tell you a few of my experiences that will probably be shared by other popular people and it, I, maybe give you a better idea of how to communicate with them, more specifically what not to do. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, no, 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 bullshit. That's a, that's a thing. Give me that. I found a research. Hell, you. Shall we just, um, put this by the side here and keep going? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, these things. Whoa. Can I crawl up here? Ah! Ah ha ha ha, okay! You are an asshole! Well, I don't feel bad at all about taking you down now. Are you dead? Uh, you turned into mush. Is there any research under you? Are you- are you good for anything? Um... These are seeds. I've seen those before. Um, I think not. Okay. Is there anything interesting up here? Does not look like so. Uh, well, let's keep going this way, shall we? What do we got over here? Oh, this just, wait. This just goes back. Oh, no, 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 no. We do have some interesting things over here. Okay. They're dangerous. Some plants are dangerous. Some plants are not. Uh, Fluster has discovered which ones are and aren't firsthand. Uh, didn't know about that last one there until now. <coughs> anyway. This is, now I don't know about anybody else. This is just a personal one with me. But. So many people who try to contact me. Are so apologetic and this that immediately puts me off uh i i don't need to be apologized to because you're speaking to me people apologize to me for talking to me uh i had a roommate once who uh, well i've known more than one person who did this but um one particular was a roommate that i lived with and she apologized, like, 4,200 times a day for, for, for anything. I mean, things that weren't even wrong or bad or weren't upsetting or, or did, did nothing. It's, you know, uh, she would, you know, I, I had the studio in the garage and the, the, um, the washer and dryer was in there you know, to, to wash and dry clothes. And I wouldn't, it's not like I'd be making anything. I'd be sitting in there just maybe playing a video game or writing some emails and she would walk in to do laundry and whoa, how did I dig that up out of there? That just came out from under it. Uh, <coughs> oh, I didn't even know you could do that. All right, buddy, where are you? Where's that stabity thing? You, you gotta go. You gotta get out of here. You gotta die. You gotta disappear. Yeah, so she'd just walk in with 
a bundle of laundry when I was just not really doing anything else, and then began apologizing profusely just for being there. And it's like, what? Why are you apologizing me? Well, I, I I didn't want to bother you. You're you're not bothering me. Okay, well well I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry. You don't 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 apologize for everything. Don't apologize for everything you do. And I have people, so many people who will they'll talk to me, they'll message me, and then they'll apologize for messaging me. And like, well here's my. My first thought, if you're apologizing for messaging me, then you thought it was wrong to message me and you just did it anyway. That's a little bit weird. Secondly, just don't apologize for just talking to someone. And I'm not talking, you, you think, well, maybe they said something offensive or something that they thought they were going to offend me. No, in general, no, they'll just, they'll, I've had a lot of people who will just pop up and say, hey, uh, love your work, uh, I love what you do, and, um, the next message will be, and, uh, sorry, I, I apologize, I, I hope I didn't bother you. Like, don't, what are you doing, don't apologize for, you're apologizing for messaging me to tell me that you like what I do. Why do you think you need to be sorry for that? That, that puts me off of people right away. And I still have people who message me, and, I, and mind you, I don't, I don't hate them. I don't hate these people. I don't dislike them. I just, I'm, I'm annoyed that they feel that we're in such a society now where they have to apologize for everything they say. And I mean, I can't honestly blame them a bit because there are some people out there right now. Uh, I won't mention their name, but their initials are SJW, who believe that everybody should be apologizing for everything they say. And there are people who are buying into that and thinking, oh, I have to apologize. I have to, every time, hi, sorry, great, great weather, isn't it? Sorry. And, and I have people who do that. They'll message me like two messages and then in between every other message or every two messages, they, they'll, they'll apologize again for messaging me and, and saying something that was in no way offensive or bad. Uh, I, uh, don't, don't do that, guys. I'm finding, oh shit, don't die. Do not die, dude. Okay. Whoa. Those plants can kill you pretty quick. Man. See, we're getting a bunch of research out of this trip. This is the kind of research you get in caves in this game. Let's see, let's uh let's just drop this dude over here somewhere and make sure he's in a place where he's not gonna fall off or roll away. There he is. Let's continue on. So yeah. This is no bueno. If you feel like it's wrong to talk to me and you're going to need to apologize for talking to me, then don't do it in the first place because, you know, if your morality suggests that you need to apologize for everything you say, then to be honest, you either need to get over that or you need to say nothing ever. And I don't recommend the latter. Because as much as it seems like we're living in a society where you have to apologize for everything, you don't, and you shouldn't. Um, the next thing, and this one's even worse, for me anyway, is, and it, it, it kind of leads back to the first one, because this happens to me quite a bit too. And this is people who apologize for apologizing. I've, I've, I've mentioned this to people, I've said, dude, you don't have to apologize to me for everything you say. You don't have to apologize to me for talking to me. Oh, I'm sorry for apologizing. That head desk, immediately head desk, right there, when somebody apologizes for apologizing too much. 
Please don't do that. Please never, ever do that. Look at Jesus. There's so much research here. We're not going to. Oh, oh, those are bad. You know what? We got a lot of research here. There are some plants ahead of us that could possibly have some research under them. Some of them are dangerous. Let me kill the dangerous ones. Just real quick. Yeah, you're done. Okay. And you're next, buddy. And I still think that's the derpiest, stupidest thing about this game. Is the fact that, you know, a good portion of this relies on the fact that, you know, you have to maintain a closed atmosphere. You have an oxygen system that you must constantly maintain, a system where your air is shut off, closed in, you must breathe it on your own, and yet poisonous gas will kill you. How is that a thing? If poisonous gas would kill you, the atmosphere would be killing you right now. Dead Man Sky did the same damn thing. You had a, a closed spacesuit with uh, an oxygen supply that you had to maintain, and yet if you went underwater, you would drown. What the fuck? Anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Sorry about that. I had to go on a little bit of a rant there. I want to take this one first. Okay, off we go. Off we go. This, uh, this cave is big. Man, it's just, it's no wonder that if you don't have a, you know, system of tethers down, you will get lost big time in here. Yeah, so apologizing for talking to someone, don't do that. It, it, it really makes you appear, you know, kind of weak, you know, kind of like somebody who doesn't mind doing something that they think is wrong. They're just going to do it anyway. And thinking that talking to somebody is wrong in the first place. It's like, no, I, I, I don't really. It, that, that puts me off. It really does. Now, the next thing that. Oh, don't you dare. That bothers me. Oh, there's another one. Jeez, I got a lot of them this time. They're everywhere. Research to be research galore. Research aganza. All right. Second thing is when somebody will message me and they'll say, hi, how's it going? OK, great. So I'll I'll message them back and I'll say it's going just fine. I hope you're doing well. And they'll say, yeah, great. Um. Hey, I uh, got a question for you. Sure. And they ask me a question and I answer the question. And then I go off somewhere to eat or to work, to edit some video, to make a video. And I'm gone, say, three hours. And when I come back, I go into the DMs of that person and there is a barrage of Hey, hello, hello, hey, every two minutes. Hi, why aren't you talking to me? I thought you liked me. I thought we were friends. Don't you like me anymore? I guess you're, I guess you're not a good person. I thought you were nice. You're not talking to me. Why aren't you talking to me? And this is like, it's fine. I'm never talking to you again. And you're an asshole. Everybody's right. You're an asshole. I thought you were, but, but now I know you are. And this is like in the course of three hours. Now, I don't want to seem insensitive here. I really don't, because I do like talking to people. But I cannot. I'm a very busy dude. I'm a busy old bird. I've got a lot of things to do, and I simply can't spend 24 hours a day with my eyes, not just on the Internet, but on your specific DMs. Sometimes you're not going to get an answer for me for a little while. And this is going to be the same thing with a lot of people who are busy or who are popular. They they sure they, they they don't mind talking to you. They like talking to you. But when you do something like that, chances are they're never going to talk to you again because they just don't want to deal with that. 
Um, in general, what I would have done is I would have come back three or four hours later and answered your question or or said something else to you or whatever, and we could have continued our conversation. Might have been slow, but I would have continued, you know, enjoying talking with you. But when I see that, I instantly just, I don't talk to that person anymore. Because it's like, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here to, you know, maintain a, a high maintenance relationship with, with somebody. That's not, that's not what I, I want to do right now. I'm, you know, I'm busy. I got things to do. So that's thing number two. Let's see what we got here, guys. Please give me something good. Fuck! You know, if this episode turns out where we get nothing good except where we get nothing except compound, I'm gonna be mad because I want to get a new discovery somewhere. No, there's plenty left to discover. Oh, wait a minute. We may have to wait until morning. Uh, we may have to charge up. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to because I don't think we'll make it back there. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. Oh, thankfully, hopefully it won't be that long. Another one that people do, uh, and this one, this also, it drives me nuts. And again, um, I know there are some of you out there who've done this to me. So I want to make it clear that this doesn't cause hate from me when you do. I, I don't hate anybody. Um, the only people that I really hate are people who just want to be violent to everybody. I, I, I just... And... I don't know pe many people who I honestly believe really want that, even if they say they do. Anyway, when people assume diligently and vocally that I hate them and everything they say, I get a lot of messages from people and it'll start out with them saying, hey, uh, as usual, how's it going? You know, um, just love your work. I have a question for you. Uh, wanted to say I really like what you do. The, you know, again, but instead of apologizing, they say, I know you probably hate me for messaging you. Um, and they'll do this repeatedly as well. And it could be for anything. I know, I, I know my, my posts are scatterbrained and you probably hate me. And... They, they, they say this like, you, you you know, I guess it would be, you know, if you hated me, uh, I guess that, that I could understand that. Really? You could understand that. So if a person, you know, messages someone to say hello and compliment them on their work, and that person was hated for that, that would be understandable to you? Because it's not to me. That, that's kind of, uh... That's kind of a shitty attitude, man. I mean, would you hate somebody for that? And then, you know, it also makes me have to assume, yeah, I have to think of, you know, what kind of total colossal asshole do these people think I am? That they're gonna message me, say hi, compliment my work, and then go, you, I know you hate me. Really? I, I'm, th I'm, I've given you the impression that I'm that much of an absolute douche canoe that I would hate you for this? That doesn't make me feel good, guys. It really doesn't. So I don't I don't like that at all. So those are the the three big things, I guess, that that are off putting to me, probably also to other other people who are, I guess, quote unquote popular. Uh and just, you know, if you want to talk to somebody, just talk to them. Don't apologize to them. I mean, if they don't want to talk to you, if you're, if they're bothering, if you're bothering them, uh, if they hate you, then they're just either going to tell you or likely is not, they're just not going to answer you. So, you know, don't apologize for talking to somebody don't don't assume that somebody hates you because you talked to them and and don't expect someone you know to be at your beck and call 
because they said hello back to you. Those are the three things that I can say right now that most on my mind lately, because a lot of people have been doing that. But I think I think what bothers me most about that is it's not the people who do it. And it's really not the act of doing it. Uh oh, Get, you've walked up there every time. OK, it's not the act of doing it. It's I think the fact that we live in a society now over the past couple years where people feel it's necessary to do that. People feel it's necessary to apologize just for speaking to someone. You know, as though saying hi could legitimately offend someone and you need to apologize for that. Or expressing a single opinion. Oh God, that might trigger someone. Gotta apologize for that in advance. Guys, look. You don't... The people who need apologies all the time... Consider this for a moment. They're wrong. Just because they're sensitive, just because they feel offended by some tiny little thing, doesn't mean they have a legitimate reason to. You can trip over banana peel and somebody's gonna feel offended by it. It doesn't mean that you need to apologize. Sometimes people are simply too whiny. That's just a fact. And sometimes you just need to let those people feel offended. You know? Let's see what's in here. This will be the last thing we do today, guys. Oh, we finally got something. We got something to what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? A drill head. I don't know what a drill head is, but I'm going to find out by the next episode. I know I'll know. Actually, in the next episode, we're going to continue to collect the rest of that uh, stuff we dug up over there and we're going to research it. See what we get. A drill head. Where do you cook one of those up? Are those on the printer? Medium storage twin drill head. There it is. What does that do? I'm going to find out what that does, guys, because it could be important. Anyway. Oh, and I and there's one thing that I, I forgot to do. We're going to do it. The first thing next episode, we're going to build this. We got the plans for a large rover. And we're going to take this beast out for a walk. How about that? So, guys, I had fun today. I hope that... Uh, I, I, I know it wasn't exactly a positive, but it wasn't negative. It was just me expressing a few things. And like I said, giving advice. I don't want me don't want to make anybody think that I I hate them or, or I hate certain people for anything. Just giving a little bit of advice here on maybe how to talk to people who are either very busy or popular. And that's really all I wanted to give out there. So guys. I, I really enjoy doing these for you, and, and I want to thank you for, for clicking on this video and for hanging out with me. And we'll do this again. And until we do, guys, take care. <laughs>